and, and then the Democrats are negotiating from an even stronger hand. I want to bring in Senator Jean Shaheen, Democrat from New Hampshire. Senator, good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'm wondering what you think about what Ryan Grimm just had to say. You know, either raise taxes and, and, and lower spending or go off the fiscal cliff. Uh, where are you and, and how do you feel about uh, tinkering with Medicare and Medicaid? Look, I, I think we've got to put aside all of the sacred cows and we've really got to be willing, as Dick Durbin said, to sit down and negotiate and come up with a plan, a long-term plan that's balanced, that looks at the domestic side of the budget, the defense side, the mandatory programs, and the revenue side. And if we're willing to do that, then I think we can get an agreement. But I, I think to go to the tax issue, that you were talking about earlier, there are really two issues there. One is the amount of revenue that needs to be raised, but the other question is a fairness question. And if we're asking people to uh, accept the sacrifices that they're going to be making if we're cutting spending in areas that are going to really affect middle class families and others, then we've also got to be willing to ask um, those who are doing the best in this country to share in that sacrifice. And what I've heard from people in New Hampshire is that they're willing to do that. They're willing to agree to share in the burden if they think it's fair. So if you look at the numbers, and I think everybody can agree that if you raise these taxes on the richest uh, you know, Americans, it's not going to close the gap. It's not going to solve the problem, but to Warren Buffett's point, he thinks it would be very important to the morale of middle class Americans to know that they're carrying more of their fair share. Do you agree with that? I do. I, I think it's, it's not just a revenue issue. It's also a fairness issue. And people I've heard from in New Hampshire say, I don't mind um, sharing some of the cost of dealing with our debt and deficits, but I want to feel like if I'm going to do that, that it's going to be fair, that everybody is going to be part of sharing in that burden. Is there something for you, Senator, that is an absolute non-starter? Well, I think we do need to take Social Security off the table because Social Security has not contributed to the debt and the deficits. And so we do need to fix it for the long term, but that's a different discussion than the one that we're having about um, those programs they're actually costing. So I think we do have to look at the cost of health care long term because that's going to contribute to the debt. I also want to ask you about Susan Rice because she is meeting with Senators McCain, Graham and Ayotte. Um, do you think she has some explaining to do about what she said about Benghazi and, and would you support her if she is nominated for Secretary of State? Well, she has not yet been nominated, um, so I'm going to look very carefully at her credentials, I think, qualify her very well um, to be nominated. I think she's done a very good job at the United Nations. I, I do think she's explained that what she said about Benghazi was the intelligence that she was given, and she'll have an opportunity as she meets with senators to further explain um, that position. Do you think they're open to giving her a fair hearing? Because some pretty tough things have been said about her. Well, it's unfortunate that much of that discussion has gotten so personal. Um, she does need to get a fair hearing. I'm hopeful Senator McCain is a patriot. I, I think he'll give her a fair hearing. I certainly think that of my colleague from New Hampshire, Senator Ayotte, and of Lindsey Graham. So uh, I do believe that it's in the country's interest to give her a fair hearing and to let her explain um, the situation, the position that she took on Benghazi. Senator Jean Shaheen, good to have you on the program. Thank you. Nice to be with you. Uh, let's go back to the to the strategy 